I can't. You just give me a couple. Of <laughs> oh, fuck. Who has our guns? It's the fireflies. I owe the fireflies. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We, we can just just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Just go get them. That is a stupid idea. I'm Horizon, and this is Game Movie Spotlight. In June of 2013, Naughty Dog, the renowned studio made famous for their Uncharted series, released The Last of Us. A dark, dystopian vision of the future, where a fungal outbreak that grows on the victim's brain has decimated the human population. This zombie apocalyptic type setting became the backdrop to one of the most intimate and touching stories ever presented in a video game. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. And converting it into a film is no easy undertaking. There's a very fine delicacy with which Grant handles the portrayal of the world of The Last of Us. The world around its central figures, Ellie and Joel, seems alive with the two of them simply struggling to survive in it. Moments where the outside action the player can't interact become small cinematic show pieces constructed with multiple takes, then assembled carefully to make for a better viewing experience. Hands on your fucking head. Do it. I can. Clean. Clean. You got a live one. No. I'm not infected. Hold her down. Do it. Please. Eyes forward. Even moments where we jump forward in time are carefully handled by breaking away from the action and using establishing shots to let the characters talk off camera about their next course of action or to simply help build the relationship. What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, oh, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. There are a number of very intimate moments between Ellie and Joel that take place in-game and capturing those moments in a dynamic and interesting fashion while maintaining some cinematic consistency could have proven to be difficult. Grant's film tackles these moments with a grace by taking the time to stop the action and like before using multiple takes, beautifully weave them into a single scene before jumping back into the action. Man. What? Nothing, it's just... I've never seen anything like this, that's all. You mean the woods? Yeah. Never walked in the woods. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Without these moments, a lot of the important character development that is experienced by the player would have been lost. Grant doesn't shy away from these types of moments and helps construct a world around Ellie and Joel's journey. It's hard not to be pulled into the film and at times forget that you're watching gameplay. She's a lot tougher than you think. It don't matter. I doubt I can get either one of us back in the city in one piece. Trust me. I wish there were some. Most games, or films for that matter, that deal with a post apocalyptic setting shy away from bright colors, choosing to go with a more muted palette to give the audience a sense of coldness to its world. The Last of Us does quite the opposite. With all the bleakness, there still feels as if there's some sort of life to the world with all of its vibrant colors. While humanity struggles, nature carries on. Grant's film does an excellent job of illustrating this. Two 
and the action in the film is just as lovingly crafted. It's clear Grant has played a scene a number of times before he fully choreographs the action, then goes back on multiple occasions before getting it just the way he wants. The end result is extremely intense fight scenes, where at times we think just for a moment he might not make it out alive. Keep looking. Every scene is so seamlessly constructed, I kept asking myself on a number of occasions, how did he do that, while at other times marveling at Grant's dedication to a scene. Grant knows his stuff, and he isn't afraid to show it. There's a level of skill executed in his version of The Last of Us that's impossible not to respect and admire. The Last of Us is a very important game for me personally, because it led me into making game films. And Grant's film has reinvigorated my own aspirations and given me a whole new plethora of tools to use in my own work. Grant hasn't uploaded a video in almost a year and a half, which is unfortunate given his level of talent for filmmaking. With some hope, maybe the announcement of a sequel to The Last of Us sparks another film from Grant. You owe it to yourself to watch the seven episodes that comprise Grant's work. It's truly one of the best game films around. If you'd like to know more about Grant Vogel and how impactful The Last of Us was to him, he's put together a video discussing his own views of the game. I'll include the link at the end of this video. If you like this episode or you'd like to suggest a movie we feature here on Game Movie Spotlight, be sure to comment below. This has been Horizon for Gamer's Little Playground, and until next time, thanks guys.